My name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I'd like to start off by thanking all 2,295 subscribers in over 80 countries globally. If you believe in transferring knowledge to those who need it most, please click subscribe. Your user data will not be transferred to anyone outside of Aspen Now without your consent. All right, everyone. Uh, today we're going to review one application that I found on the uh, ServiceNow share which I thought was pretty cool, and I thought it wasn't getting enough love and respect. So uh, I'm going to show you that in just a second. Just as a review, uh, I did a couple of videos here, uh, some reboots on SLAs, you know, cancel condition, retroactive pause. These are concepts that aren't really garden variety. It's uh, a little bit um, harder for people to understand, so I figured I'd do a couple of videos on them. Um, so again, retroactive pause, start, and the cancel condition. Um, also, Karthik did some great videos, um, did two. Um, one here uh, with custom applications and ACLs getting started. Um, and also there's another one there for you to take a look at. And just as a reminder, we do have playlists here. So if you want to see by theme um, or, you know, who did them like Aspen Now Guest Stars or, you know, what version like Aspen Now New York or if you're looking for SLA videos, um, you have all that right here on this tab. So for today, what we're going to do is, excuse me, that was a little bit of music there. Today, what we're going to do is take a look at this application here called CZ Form Helper. Uh, Form Helper, excuse me. This is by Christoph Lang. I tried finding this individual on LinkedIn. However, uh, you wouldn't believe how many people are named Christoph Lang. So, Christoph, if you're out there, or if one of you watching no Christoph, please tell him. I think this form helper application is pretty awesome. So how do we get here from, you know, how do we get to share? Well, first off, we have to have a ServiceNow developer account, which is free and you can sign up for, for one. There's a video out there that I have for how to get started with ServiceNow. When you finally log in, there's a tab called share. If you click home, it's going to bring you here. We have some of these, you know, uh, thematic, I guess, tabs here, like most downloaded, highest rated, editor's choice. But I thought this one was really cool. Um, so if we go to form helper or just type in CZ, so I guess all of Christoph start with CZ. All right, this point we're gonna see here, it basically does two things. Number one, there there's a UI action for open list. And there's a second one for disabling mandatory fields. And I think that as an admin, especially the second one, if you're doing a, a lot of initial testing um, of a form maybe, maybe you need to submit a form just to get trigger something in a business rule or a workflow, and you don't want to have to fill out all the mandatory fields, um, this, is, this is great functionality in action right here. Okay, so how do we as developers get this product into our instance? Well, <clears throat> first thing we're going to do is we're going to click download and it'll bring form helper. Um, I'm using Chrome here and also I'm on a Mac. So uh, right here, it'll, it'll dump down there. Then we're going to go into our instance and I usually type in just D space update and then retrieved update sets will pop up. This window will open up and if you want to see here when I click on it, that's basically the same thing. We'll have here retrieved update sets. Close that window. And then the hint we're going to, like, let's say you just came to the update set application and typed in update set. You're going to see there's, I don't know, maybe seven here. Update sources, that's pulling from another instance. So if you're in production and you're pulling from, like, test or your development uh, instance, that's where you would set that up. Retrieved update sets, this is basically where you're going to manually load them. And one clue for us here is this UI action here to import this update set from XML. And then you have a couple other ones here. I don't need to go over all these in depth. So now we're going to bring it in. I'm going to choose file. We'll select form helper. As you can see, I've done this a couple of times already. I'm going to click upload. Now, one thing to note is that I am in a domain separated instance. So it's going to be a little bit different when we're, uh, we're going to notice here. I'm an admin, but I don't have that preview button here, do I? So one thing I need to do is, and you know, I think this should be like an exam question, right? Maybe it is, and I just don't know it, but basically for those of us who are in domain separate instances, question would go something like this. What is the one domain you need to be in in order to preview and commit an update set? And the answer is global. 
I'm going to click on global and we're going to see up here that will have preview update set. And it might kick out an error because, oh no, it doesn't. Okay, so I've already committed this update set before. Let's commit it again. Let's go ahead and commit. Now I'm going to click close. Excellent. All right, so now we've just committed everything. Now I'm going to go into a garden variety incident. All right, so we'll see here we have some mandatory fields. This company one is not filled in. So now I'm going to open this up. Now we're going to see here, disable mandatory fields. Now watch this. They all went away. So that's really cool if we're an admin and we need to you know, disable these mandatory fields just to get this thing to submit or update. Um, then we have this open list, which I thought was really cool also because this is going to bring us in to the list. And especially if we're in a view here where we don't have the ability to type in our filter nav and type in incident.list or um, whatever table it is we're going to, um, then it'll just bring it, it'll bring us back up to at least this current list here. So I thought that was that's pretty fun stuff here. Um, the other thing that I like about this is that like, let's say we impersonate a user because this is going to be for admins only. It looks like uh, what this gentleman did it out. So let me go ahead and change to, let's see here, Acme ITIL, great. Now I'm going to go look at all the incidents that are true. All right, so now if I go in as Acme ITIL or this user, same ability to get those UI actions which is cool. So maybe, maybe like the open list, maybe you'd want to like action and say, okay, I want to make this available for normal users. So that could also be um, something that you might want to try, but definitely for the disabled mandatory fields, I'd probably say, nah, probably don't want to make that available to normal users. So, and um, you know, just uh, one thing about the share is that it's not only utility, another thing that I thought was cool was I think someone had Star Wars themes up there too. So I saw this one, um, said, you know what? Let me, let me check it out. Even though I'm in Madrid, uh, maybe I'll go ahead and try to pull this thing down. And let's, let's just review one more time, like how to bring that update set in here. So we're gonna do D update. Now I'm going to import it from XML. There we go. Star Wars themes. Upload. And now we'll see here I'm in global, right? So actually, it probably doesn't think I'm in global because I impersonated. So let's um, reload all the way. Now it looks like it doesn't want to do it. Maybe I can get it to... Let's get a preview going. There we go. And yes, that will happen with with uh, domain separation is that sometimes you'll see here it says global, but it might revert back to whatever your home domain is or your default domain. Okay, so at this point, let me go ahead and commit it. And I'm just curious to see if this actually works in, uh, in Madrid or not. So it looks like it's committed at this point. Now let's open up our themes. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of these. So we got Star Wars. That one looks okay. Let's try this one, ROTS. That one's kind of cool. We got B-Spin here. Let's say, yeah, we just have those three there, so not too bad. And also that's another point too, is that if you're working in different environments, um, maybe you want to have a separate theme for each environment. So in your test environment, the co you know the coloring right here, you know it's a quick it's a quick way to identify which environment you're in. so that way you don't make a mistake. So those are a couple of the cool things that I saw. 
um, on the share one again you know is your basic utility that'll help you out as an admin and then the other one just kind of cool for you know i guess bragging rights if you want to upload this to your um your personal instance or you know maybe if your customer's cool with it you know you can do it at least in your development environment or something like that so again make sure you you ask for permission before you uh you upload these things um, because you know some customers out there they won't uh, be too pleased with it okay my name is jason miller founder of aspen now solutions and we just unlocked the power of service now